Hello there, this is James of Team Honest, and here we have a deck profile of Wallace's Vanquishers. Now, Kami, take it away. Hey everybody, uh, this is my Vanquisher deck. Uh, I originally was timorous about picking up Vanquishers, but I managed to get a, a, a good deal a couple of years ago for the original core, and I've loved them ever since. So, uh, might as well just start. Start with the great threes. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, grade 3 lineup is 4 copies of Spartan. Uh, Spartan is the grade 3 you will normally always want to go into. Mm -hmm. If you don't get Spartan, then the, uh, the backup grade 3, which what is the ordinary Blankshire, uh, is still good, but uh, Spartan is just an amazing card that lets you go plus. Mm, it lets you hit the Thunderstrike numbers. Yeah, it lets you hit Thunderstrike. You can literally hit, hit Thunderstrike 5 if you're lucky on your first strike. Really powerful. Uh, uh, second, uh, my back upgrade 3, like I said, Ordinary Vanquisher. Still, still relatively good uh, these days, but ideally you still want to be riding the Sparkling. Um, mm. I only run three of the old one because I want to ride Spartan. Four. Yeah. And I, I've, I've run four stride fodder, so if I get this one, I can I can search for Spartan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, grid two wise, I play four of uh, Grizel. Grizel is just amazing. Whenever she's attacked or in effect targets her, you get to find something from your opponent's drop zone. Yeah. And that works uh, during your turn or their turn. Mm, punishes them for attacking yeah. it. Yeah. Plus, it gains Thunderstrike 5 plus 9k, which doubling, uh, doubling a grade 2's uh, attack for literally no cost is... Mm. Fantastic. Which, and when you, you combine that with Sparking, that's 26k exactly. on Exactly. You don't even really need to use the Counter Blast to attack a, a rear guard effect. But uh, normally, I, I don't tend to use that. Mm. It's good for the max turns. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, I play for uh, Helena. An upgrade from when we first saw her? Yeah. Uh, Helena is uh, a great card just to uh, just for the draw, just for the draw. But my deck is actually built around uh, keeping my hand size relatively high. Mm -hmm. So uh, drawing cards is important in this deck. Mm. So you're making your opponent go neg plus your yeah cards. plus with Spartan's effect, you can normally just. Uh, negate the counter blast that you you paid uh, at the beginning of your next turn mm -hmm. so it's basically free mm. uh, I play for Shatura really be good on the pressure be because Shatura is a staple in all Narakami decks now yep got reprinted recently as well it did yeah I, th I think the only Narakami deck that doesn't play it is Brawlers but then again that's because they and the Radigas and the Radigas Rad Brawlers do play it I play it in my house but Adicators don't. Yeah. They need names. Yeah, exactly. They need names. But uh, Shatura is just uh, pressure from grade two, right? Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's only an 8k for Yeah, that's that's the only real downside to it, is an 8k. Uh, grade ones. I play four of the new Anastasia. Again, like I said, my deck is built around the uh, having a decent hand size and because uh, her uh, Thunderstrike 4 is when it leaves the Guardian Circle or when it's retired from the Guardian Circle I get to draw a card mm -hmm. so I more often than not I have actually drawn another an hour of her off her effect mm -hmm. so she is just a better PG for this deck yeah uh, and to be honest, that's actually thanks to Spartan. Yeah. Because you know you don't need to run the unflip PGs because Spartan does it does it for you. Yeah. 
Uh, I run for Smash Boxer again. Amazing, amazing card. Uh, I've seen people play this at three or even two, but I prefer the four. Mm. It's just uh, an ideal card to help you get around other people's decks. Mm. Because whenever it bo- uh, whenever it boosts, and it only gives the unit in front of it if it is a Thunderstrike unit, it gives it resi- it and uh, sorry itself and the unit in front of it thunder uh, resist. Mm, or, can't be targeted. Well, well, can't be targeted, but mm. technically. So it's good against Impede and Denial Griffins yeah. and likes. And then after it bursts, you can put it into Soul Counter Charge One and draw a card. Resource management. So more resource management. And uh, although you do need to know how to play, uh, when to play this at the right time, because I've seen people play this at the wrong time and it's gone badly for them. Yeah. So for that, you need to play it at the right time. Mm. Uh, I play for stride fodder. Don't really need to say too much about it. You want the stride? That lets me search whatever and uh, whichever. Uh, Blanker I need and lets me strike. Mm-hmm. Uh, my final two grave ones I play are Trainee Monk. Mm, this is an interesting one. What does it do? Uh, Trainee Monk, uh, Thunderstrike 1. It gains plus 2k uh, when it attacks. And I can also, let's see, uh, I can put this into my, I can also put this into my soul. And I can uh, uh, make my van uh, give the effect to my vanguard so that it can attack a rear guard as well mm. as a vanguard. It helps deal with problem cards. It helps deal with problem cards, yeah. I have seen uh, some players play, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's, it's a 6k, which I think. Uh, so, last one, the so, good sound strike 2, I believe, yeah, and draw a card. Draw card. Uh, that's. I like the sound of that card, but because it's a 6k, it's a bit iffy mm. for me. You also see some people play with Phoenix, which is so last two draw card. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a 5k. Yeah. Uh, but in this, I like to have 7ks, and the fact that if I don't have a grade 2 in the front row and all I have is this, so long as I'm Thunderstrike 1, it's still a 9k swear. Mm. Which does make numbers with sparking. It does, yeah. And- uh, okay, my grade zeros. Uh, hard rod. If you're not running hard rod, you're not playing Vanquisher, right? Uh, originally, I was playing two hard rod, but I was finding that I needed to find grade ones more. Mm-hmm. So I actually put in a second trainee monk for the second hard rod. Hard, hard rod's just fantastic to start off your thunder strikes it, mm-hmm. it gets you thunder strike relatively early so so long as your opponent is is actually guarding mm-hmm. if they're not then you're not going to be doing too much with it yeah uh i run uh four of the uh vanquisher special crit mm-hmm. obviously in the soul plus 5k draw card don't say too much else about it. Helps it's you just, get through resources. Helps helps you get through resources and it's just fantastic. Mm-hmm. I also play four of the Brawler Crypt. The, I play this because uh, most of its effect is useless, unfortunately, to me. However, the effect that isn't is I can put it back into my deck. Yes. So, if so long as I have uh, so long as I have enough resources in my hand that I think I can handle, I can call it, I put it back in the deck. Mm. Or if my deck is extremely low, which can happen in this deck because I draw a lot. Yeah, before this you have been known to deck out because you're rushing through the deck so yeah. much with quad drive and you're getting all these effects to draw. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you'll see... <laughs> you'll, <laughs> The next four cards, you'll also see a reason why I tend to, uh, I tend to have dra- decked out for draw triggers. Oh, nice. 
No, I, I'm, obviously the reason I'm running these draw traders is literally because they look like a Digimon. Yeah, <laughs> Terriamon. Yeah, they look like Terriamon. I, and frankly, I, I just love the artwork. Apologies uh, for the background noise. Uh, I play the four special hit trigger. Uh, this hit trigger is. Uh, I, I do like this hit trigger. It's very good, but the only downside to it is that it's. Well, it's a 4K and it's obviously a soul blast to counter charge. But uh, apart from that, it's. Shiny, shiny crit. Yeah. Or, sorry, shiny. Plus, heel. it looks nice. Shiny it, it it looks nice, and the fact that it's just a, it's just a, a baby dragon looking. <laughs> no. So we've got baby dragon and terrier on. <laughs> yeah. No. Onto the strides. The G's. G zone. Uh, I play four. Of. Uh, <laughs> uh, v Buster. V Buster. Because V Boss is just that good. He is busted. Yes, he is. And a thing I actually realised, uh, I think it was literally about a month, maybe two months ago, is that for his uh, plus one crit, plus one drive, plus five K to the front row, you don't need to flip a copy. You don't need to soul blast one and flip a copy. Mm-hmm. So if you've already got your Thunder Strike 7, you can literally just try and beat down your opponent with quad drive and a crit and then mm. extra five of the front row. So you can get about three to five, three to four quad drives yeah. if you're lucky. Ideally, you will ro- you will stride this first. Mm-hmm. If you uh, if you do stride this first, ideally, you can actually thunder strike four cards in that one turn. Which is good for Sparkings' yeah. effect next turn. Yeah, because because of Sparkings, uh, because Sparkings' effect, whenever you stride, current blast one, bind one from drop zone, and then uh, if you roll a thunder strike unit, bind another. This soul blast one, bind one from drop zone and fade. It's just amazing. I'm I'm extremely glad it came out. Mm-hmm. Really good card. Yeah. Uh, now for I play two Van, uh, Voltage I would love to play four unfortunately Voltage unfortunately there's just not enough space for it mm. it's extremely difficult to find space in this in this deck for all the cards you want mm. it is really good to, for getting big numbers on the radio yeah. uh, Voltage is uh, obviously the, the original uh, Vanquisher strike and it's that's still good these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, I play two V Max. Interesting that you play two of them. Yeah, V Max because of sparking is so much easier to pull off. Back in the day, whenever it was just the old Vanquisher, you just playing one V Max, you most of the time you wouldn't even get to. Use them, mm. and since six of your other six or seven of your other genus are vanquishers, the second effect is really useful. It is, yeah, because you can you can attack every single thing. Mm-hmm. Really good unit. Yeah, extremely good unit, and it doesn't care about five damage. No, it doesn't. Uh, which it's the only one that doesn't care about van- uh, five damage. Uh, I play one copy of. Uh, Voltex Zapper. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason I play Voltex Zapper is because if my opponent is, isn't guarding a lot and doesn't have much of a field, then there's no point wasting my V Buster. Mm-hmm. And the fact that his Thunder Strike 3 is extremely good mm. and uh, it has no cost with the plus 10k. Mm. Alternatively, if you, if you need to wipe a board, it's really useful for that. Yeah, exactly. It's really useful for that. And the fact that it has a thunder strike ability, whenever you uh, stride over voltage, you or will sparking. Or, sorry, sparking. You will you still will get the option to 
retiring Blaine too. Really was, good effect. Oh, sorry, Blaine too. Uh, next up, GB8. Because it's GB8. Destroys the board, gains huge power. Yes. Wipe out the drop zone. Yes. This thing's silly. Yeah. If it was anything other than GB8, it would be still good. Right, the team has access to this. Drachma. Drachma. Now, this isn't actually my Drachma. This is actually the captain's Drachma. However, the team has access to it, so thanks to him. If, uh, if I didn't have access to this, I would be running a second bolt examiner. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think we all know what uh, Drachma does. He kills your opponent's hand, field, yes, yeah. yeah, basically. You won't always use him, but the times you could use him, to kill. Yeah, basically, he most likely will kill you. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's beautiful looking as well. Yeah. Uh, finally, my G guards. I play two of Bullard because. Bullock was just an easy 10k these days. Mm. Uh, so long as you can get your Thunderstrike, uh, three is an easy 10k. And which you can typically with the first well, stride. Which, which typically you can with either your first stride or even even before your first stride if your opponent has actually been guarding a lot. Mm. Uh, I play one of this, which is another easy 10k. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is basically the same as uh, Bullock. The same as Bullock, but uh, he doesn't have a thunder strike ability. He binds the uh, t- uh, two cards from your drop zone with different grades mm. to give him the plus ten k. So basically, if my opponent hasn't been guarding at all, I can still get a ten k shield. Yeah. Just hope um, you're not playing the mirror match. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I play one copy of uh, Vitra. Vitra because again Thunder Strike 1 easy 5k shield mm-hmm. and finally I play one copy of uh, Impede, Impede. Uh, some people have said play 2 mm-hmm. however I just think that one's enough yeah uh, there's no space in my deck for a second. Mm. Retiring binding one and then possibly retiring the second one. Exactly. I I, pref- I, I like him at one. Mm-hmm. If he if he if he gain power as well as retiring retiring and binding, then yeah, I would probably play him at two. I, I would take a counter blast cost of that. Yeah, I, I would take a counter blast cost of that as well. Yeah. However, because he's just a, uh, a flip to to do it, I think one's enough. Plus it gets you closer to GB8. Yeah, exactly. Really good. Uh, did any changes you make to the deck overall? To at, at the minute, I don't think there's any changes I would really make. Uh, so it, it, there would have to be uh, there would have to be some very good support come out. Mm-hmm. If not for for Vanquisher itself, but for Narakami. Or even Dragon Empire. Or even Dragon Empire. So, so long as it would fit with the theme of the deck, then I think that it would be... I think it would be really good. The The thing that I do really want, though, is I'm not sure what set Vanquisher or Narakami is going to get support in next, but hopefully there's going to be... A, one of the uh, new double rare heal triggers that lets you bind ah, yes. to, 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 counter, uh, to soul charge or to counter charge. To counter charge. Mm-hmm. More resource management if necessary. Yeah, exactly. Because I think those cards, were, uh, those heal triggers would probably replace the, the current ones. Mm-hmm. Um, one quick question just to finish off. Uh, I noticed that you're playing uh, four sparking, but you're not playing any of uh, the Sigma as the backup. You see a lot of deck profiles using Sigma instead of the old Vanquisher. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I've seen a, a few deck profiles with those as well. I prefer to keep my grade three lamp to Vanquisher. I want to be riding Vanquisher. I want to be able to stride into uh into stuff that gives me 
uh, Vanquisher effect. Mm -hmm. So me having a grade three that isn't Vanquisher isn't the greatest thing. Because originally, before Spartan came out, I can't remember what grade three it was, but it, whenever I rolled it, I, I literally think I lost every game because mm. I wasn't riding. So more for the consistency of yeah. names. That's fair enough. Thank you for yeah. your thoughts there. Um, well, thank you very much for your deck profile here. Um, if you have any thoughts on it, uh, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Facebook. Bye.